What's going on guys, it's your boy ATF Carver and today I have another Battlefield 3 video for you guys and today we got some news uh, that rolled out. EA rolls out three themed expect and expansion packs excuse me, for the multi-platform Battlefield 3. Now, uh, links in the description, um, but so uh, basically we're getting, um, what is it, three new maps uh, and they're called close quarters in June, around June time. Don't know um, how far along into June. That that might be a little while from now, but at the same time, um, I hope that they release the patch to fix things before this uh, new map hits uh, because there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. But um, yeah, basically it's Battlefield 3 close quarters in June, Battlefield 3 armored uh, kill in the fall, and Battlefield 3 end game in the winter. So they're going to try and release three DLCs this year. Um, that's really great. Um, I know they're trying to, uh, you know, give this game a little bit more l longevity, which it doesn't really need to. Um, but at the same time, I prefer if they sit and work on trying to fix the game and then release all these map uh, map packs for a decent price. I'm hoping they're not gonna be as stingy as Call of Duty, or um, you know, when they release their map packs and they're like what twenty dollars. Um, a piece or something like that, or something crazy. I hope that um they really put out these maps, um you know, for us hardcore fans that play this game day in and day out, that we can go into something um that we can enjoy. But let's go into a more detailed um you know into these games for the close quarter. Um, that's what they're calling it for the DLC close quarter. Um, being released in June. Now they say that they're gonna uh. You know, for um, this actual expansion pack, you're gonna be able to have a lot more destruction than you would and uh, what you do, uh, you know, in Battlefield 3 right now. So basically, you know how you destroy buildings; they collapse on each other. Okay, that's great. But now you could demolish buildings, and you know, everything just turns into crumbs. I'm I'm really excited about that because it'll leave no place. It'll leave just nothing but flatland. And um, basically, it's a really good, uh, you know. Uh, expansion pack for people who play with tanks, especially like myself. I love tanks; they're the easiest to drive, um, and they're really fun to do as well. I, uh, you know, especially I get that sense of false that false sense of security when I'm driving a tank. So that's why I love the tanks all the time. I run with them every single time that I can, and um, you know that's probably what I definitely look forward to because a lot of times people will hide in buildings and you can't really get to them unless the building collapses or most of these buildings don't really collapse on the um, you know. I need 360 or the PS3 version, but I'm planning. I have Battlefield 3 for um, PC, but I can't run it on my laptop because um, you know it's, it's just it doesn't work at all. I mean, I have a decent laptop to record and to edit my videos, but it's not enough to run the game. So I'm searching right now the web for a uh, you know a decent PC. If you guys know of a decent PC, I'm looking for one. Um, I definitely need one. I'm trying to spend a little under a grand. If I have to spend more than a grand for Battlefield, um, you know, I found this website, Cyber CyberPower. I'm building a PC right now. So, so far, I'm at 916 for a decent PC that will run Battlefield 3 on Ultra. So, um, I'm going to probably go with that. But if you guys know of any other PCs that are really strong and I could get my bang for the buck, then really leave in the comments. But anyways, on to the next, uh, you know, DLC that are, are going to be released. And Armor Kill... It's going to be released in the fall. I'm thinking around August. Um, hopefully August. Wait, June, July, August. Yeah, about three months. Because they're, they're probably going to try and space them out to give their game a lot longer longevity. So it might be released in August. And for the uh, end game, that might be. It's going to be in the winter. So something probably around November or um, December. Um, but the crazy thing about that as well. My Medal of Honor 2 Warfare uh, Warfighter is going to be released in October of uh, this year. So it's going to be really crazy to have this DLC roll out and then to have Medal of Honor 2 come out because I'm getting that. I already um, pre ordered Medal of Honor. I already want to pre order. I mean, I haven't pre ordered it yet, but as soon as um you know we're able to pre order, I'm going to pre order it and um, get whatever it comes with. And they're, they're probably going to keep it the same. I heard it's going to use the Frostbite 2 engine. I'm really excited about that as well. But um, let's look a little bit into the details. It looks as though the uh, most of these maps might be around the same price 
as the Bar Back to Karkan uh, expansion pack, which is 1,200 Microsoft points. Um, if you guys don't already have the Back to Karkan uh, expansion pack, you guys should definitely get it. I know some um, Bandmaster Gamer Tag and other um, people that bought this game didn't buy the full game or the um, game new, so they didn't get the expansion pack. But it's really worth it. It'll keep the game fresh, and you'll have new weapons. So I'm hoping for new weapons as well in these map packs. Um, they don't say anything really, but more vehicles. You get um, you know. Uh, new uh, tanks and ATVs, mobile artillery. I'm hoping for a lot more vehicles and consoles because of the fact that console players, they don't get, we don't get the amount of vehicles that, um, you know, the PC players get, which is kind of unfair because, um, you know, a lot of times we'll have like two jets on a conquest map and both the jets will be taken immediately and guys will just hog the jets all the single, all the freaking time. I want them to at least put something in there where like everybody else can go into jet or everybody will have a chance to play with a jet that needs one because um you know I bought this game just like everybody else I know um you know I try my hardest to get into jets I even uh, you know looked up tips on how to get them and I even put tips on my channel but it's still hard 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 to get into the jet because of the fact that everybody wants one everybody thinks they can fly they are mad easy to fly but nobody really destroys anything um destroys anything with them so it's kind of taking the point away when uh, you put a, a jet in somebody's hands and they can't really do anything. They just fly around for um, hours. I, um, you know, I don't, I don't get, you know, a bunch of kills when I fly in a jet, but I do, you know, destroy, try to destroy jets and do some damage to them. Um, you know, I even have this video on my channel. I have so many videos that I haven't uploaded yet, but I have some videos on my channel where um, I'm in a dogfight and I don't destroy the guy, but I help my teammate destroy him. Is um, it was a little bit two on one, so. That's what it is. And here I have some really nice gameplay. I was doing pretty well with the Dial 12. It's not my favorite shotgun. I actually don't like any of the shotguns. I've used them all, and um, the Dial 12 is the only one that I did decent on. So, um, you know, that's the one I stuck with. And then I went to the M10. The M10, it feels okay. Um, USAS, I, I won't even touch that. Um, just because of the hate I might get for using it. But um, I never, I think I used the USAS once or twice because I was getting killed with it over and over again. But um, nothing too serious. But yeah. Anyways, I can't wait for the, the, um, these uh, new maps and DLC to come out because, um, you know, like I said, it's going to bring a longevity to the game. And it's going to make it a lot more playable, and uh, hopefully they release the, uh, you know, patch to actually fix a lot of things in um, this game that, you know, kind of are a nuisance. They're not really too bad, you know, we'll, we'll get over it. Like, a lot of times, like, you know, some things don't bother me, and, um, you know, so I don't really pay attention to it after a while. Like, after a while, you know, the things that bother you in this game, they go away. Um, sometimes they'll rear its ugly head like USAS frag rounds, but yeah. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to check out the maps or um, check out the uh, more information on the maps, then go to uh, you know Battlefield 3 or the Battle Blog, and you'll see it. It's all up there. Um, you know, check the website and check the forums and stuff like that. It'll show you more information on the maps. But they're not releasing too much yet. They're not saying. You know, if we're going to get new weapons, which I'm really hoping for, because I want to see an MP5. How many of you guys want to see an MP5, right? I mean, the HK-53 is not the MP5. It looks like the MP5, but it's not. You know, everybody's, to, um, you know, on that video that I released on my um, channel, everybody says it's not. And I agree. I totally agree. I was wrong. It's not an MP5. I didn't say it was the MP5. I put in parentheses <laughs> MP5. So um, everybody was thinking that, um, you know, I was doing something wrong when I really wasn't, but anyways, uh, you know, if you guys, uh, you know, want to play with me, I love playing with um, people, I love playing with my subscribers, if you guys want to play a game, don't ever be scared to, um, you know, actually invite me to a game or invite me to a party, um, if I'm in a party, I probably won't come to your party, but try to join my party if it's open, if it's not, send me a message, hey, I want to play, because um, I love playing with you guys, I was playing with um, Band, and I was playing with Last Killer, as you guys can see, and I was having a lot of fun, and then it kind of went sour, um, cause our, you know, half of our team quit, so it was like 6 on 12, and we're getting dominated, but, anyways, I still had fun regardless, um, kept my head up, and kept playing, but yeah, um, some strategies as well for, uh, using the shotguns, if you guys wanna run, uh, wanna run around with the shotguns, what I suggest you guys do mostly, is run around with your teammates mostly, because they're gonna run into those gunfights, and, um, as cheap as it sounds, you can clean off guys that have been damaged and stuff like that. It doesn't sound cheap. It just sounds like you're helping your team. Like, you know, if your teammates are struggling, um, follow them around for a little bit. Stay, stay close to them, especially people on your squad. Um, and try to actually get up close. Like here, I clean these two snipers up right here. Try to do that. That's what the shotguns are for. They're mostly clean up because they have low damage. Every shotgun in this game 
it doesn't feel like it has enough power unless you're really up close and personal um, or shooting a bunch of rounds in their face like here I don't know why that guy was hiding in the bus. He thought he could escape from, uh, you know, everybody else was here. But um, anyways, this was actually my first, um, you know, fully length, full long gameplay of Battlefield 3. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I like long gameplays. Pause, no homo, whatever you may call it. But I like gameplays where it shows everything, shows my mistakes, shows what I was doing right. Um, I went 13-3. and 3. I did pretty well. You know, I was using the shotgun most of the time. And um, I wanted to bring you guys this gameplay as well to, uh, you know, give you guys a little bit of how I really play and what goes on um, during my mind when I do play. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary and the information about the patch, new details, new maps. It's been your boy ATF Cobra. Peace.